Well, here we go again. I did get this thing out for a short ride. And it's got a, something rattling in the back end of it. And it sounds like it's coming from this back right corner. So I'm going to crawl around on the floor for a little bit. And I might as well take you with me. So hang on. Well, back in one of my favorite spots on my back looking up. And this is going to be difficult to see. But if you can see that hanger bracket up in there. I did notice when I crawled under here that clamp was actually, I thought, a little bit too far ahead and it was stretching the, this is a loop style hanger, nothing like the new style, where I thought it was trying to push that exhaust forward. So I did move it up ahead a little bit. I've tightened up both sides of the muffler, but there's nothing under here so far that I found that'll make it rattle and it wasn't a, a thump type noise like a shock trying to pound a new hole in the tower it was a definite rattle so we'll crawl up a little further I tightened that clamp up a little more not as if it made any difference but then I came forward one more and the way this clamp was originally on The bracket was sitting on like that and that's typical of me because I always like to turn the clamp sideways so that you don't see the bolts hanging down and if you can look up in there right there you can see a spot where it's wore the paint off the floor so what I'm going to do is turn that bracket or the clamp around the other way and hopefully give it some more clearance between the floor pan. See if that makes any difference. And then over on the other side you can see the same thing and it's even a little bit tighter. This one's only got oh, a little better than a quarter inch between it. So I'll also spin that clamp around the other way and guess we'll find out. I haven't recorded much in the last couple of days, mainly because I've had the Camaro project on ignore. But I decided today's the day that it's going to idle. And the only thing I had left is the carburetor. I've been through plugs, wires, cap, rotor, points, dwell, timing, you name it. So it had to be in the carburetor why this thing wouldn't idle. So I tore it all apart. And I'm anything but a carburetor expert. In the, in the base plate, I don't think you'll ever see it, but where the idle mixture screws go through, there are holes. But I also noticed above it, there are three more holes in each barrel. So, following that back, is my, my impression is, is it, wasn't, it was running off the primaries trying to run off the primaries instead of off the idle circuit. And when you get one of these kits, they just throw a handful of ga gaskets into a box and you pick what you want and life goes on. So on tearing this apart, what I found is the base gasket on the squirters, which you can see there. <clears throat> there was another gasket in the kit. And you'll notice this small channel right here which also connects through that hole down to the base and that's what feeds that second set of holes in the uh, throttle valves. So with this gasket on there, it was not pulling vacuum across this channel, in other words, sucking fuel down. And what it was doing is sucking air in. So it was always starving for fuel on idle. So I'm going to change that gasket, put this all back together, throw it back in the car, and we'll see what happens. Well, sometimes you get lucky. Put the car back on, hooked it all back up, and I actually just hit the key to spin it over to fill up the uh, fuel bowl. It turned over about six times, fired up, and ran on its own. So all I did is I set the, uh, set the idle, set it about 700, but leave it there for a bit. 
and set the uh, idle screws. And here we are. Well, this is the third day and the third try. Video and going down the road. We seem to be having some operator error, but we've got about 150 miles on so far. We've got the rattles gone. It's actually a pretty good runner. Doesn't shake, vibrate, goes straight down the road. Pulls just a little bit to the left. Back to the alignment shop. See what they can do about that. And just up the road here a little bit on the left hand side, which I'll show you. A place called Benmar to all of us locals. It has a driving range off to the side, and they have a car show every Saturday afternoon, or they used to, for as many years as I can remember. See it off to the left, and they usually have about on a good weekend they'll have maybe 150 somewhere in that range. On a regular weekend, uh, 30, 40, 50 somewhere in there. Anyway, just wanted to uh, do a little bit of video going down the road, and we'll catch you next time.